Yo, what's up? Welcome back to War Number Two. This time we're up against Salty, another really good alliance. Um, I only have four fights in this war, but like this is a mythic intercepting, never get hit type of war. And you'll see, like, if you want to watch the best, most perfect gameplay, watch this video. Storm Pyramid X Doom, and Corvus Nuke coming up. No sorcerer in this one. Why? Because it took like 16 hours before I joined war. You know, Easter and all that stuff. First fight, Arcus. Um, Arcus with Doom is a fight that you can do if you only have one thumb with your eyes closed. If you die to Arcus with Doom, <sighs> I don't know what to say. Anyway, put on some mystic boosts. He's on kinetic. And I don't know why I didn't speed up this part of the video because like watching me select boosts is probably the most entertaining part of my videos, 100%. Or the fact that I get hit in the face every single fight and try to make a comeback for victory. Here I'm debating on if I even use a boost, and I do, and the boost is not really for this fight, it's for the next fight, and it's going to be needed. I double check to see if I'm recording, because sometimes I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyways, so this one, the plan is to steal his power gain. Once you steal his power gain with Dr. Doom, and then here I steal two power gains, and look at just power gaining like crazy. Push yourself to an SP3 and now watch how I slow down the doom cycle. You're gonna go instead of medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, it's gonna be medium, medium, light, light. And that's just because he's gonna be SP3 because you can't really power drain this guy. But look how slow my combo is. Just to make sure that my power gain gets me right back to three bars. I could have just threw an SP2, really. But there you go. Super easy, fast fight with Dr. Doom. Next fight is a repeat of Last War. It is Kingpin on Vivify. And um, we're gonna go with Storm Pyramid X. Last time I think I had a 150% boost. This time I'm gonna go with a 200% boost and a 12% boost from Mutant. And I'm going to try to play it a little better. But I don't. I don't. And I get super nervous because it's a rank 4 storm. And if you die with a rank 4 again, like I said in the last video, there's something wrong with you. You shouldn't be dying with rank 4s. It happens. Luckily, it doesn't happen in this war. And um, I'm just trying to bait his special one. And take a little bit of degen damage from the brute force node here. I think I'm about to take more degen damage. I lose my few prowess. And I'm gonna make a mistake and I'm gonna get lucky. So I'm just trying to push to two bars of power with six prowess or five prowess. And then here, because he's close to two bars of power, I decided to stay back and try to bait his special one. But as I do that, I take degen damage, and I lose my prowess. So now I'm down to three, and at this point, I have four. I just say, screw it. I hold the heavy, launch the SP2. It doesn't nuke him. It pushes me to three bars, but it pushes him to three bars. So I'm actually really thinking at this point, my SP3 is going to completely nuke him. And then after that blast, I was like, oh boy, that didn't do much. And that did even less. So I was like, oh my gosh. And then, of course, he gets to a special three. And you know, after his special three, you are stunned for a few seconds. So the invulnerability boost saves me there. I still have two more hits on the invulnerability. There they are. Luckily, her glancing maybe takes a little bit of it. And I'm able to throw a special two. So I would say last war and this war, not a good display of Storm Pyramid X. Um, 
Anyways, so now we go through this process of changing mastery setups because we want to do a Corvus nuke, get two Corvus charges on Hulkbuster, and then I have uh, Penny Parker. So unfortunately, masteries cost a million units. So here I'm just resetting the offense tree to go with uh, suicides. And I don't end up with enough points, so I have to remove points from proficiencies. Then I can fill up my offense tree, go back to proficiencies, and fill up the bare necessities here. Like dexterity, stupefy, parry, and then I'm just gonna max out limber as much as I can. So here's the Hulkbuster fight. Um, Corvus with max, um, max boosts. Oh, something happened, I'm frozen. There we go, we're back. So I start with a PS1 and uh, Cosmic Boosts. Once I get to Special 2, I'm actually gaining power because of the Node 2, Rich Get Richer. But there I do SP2, gives me too much power, right into an SP3. And it's kind of funny how SP3 hits a lot weaker than SP2. That doesn't kill him. But that's fine, now he goes unstoppable, so a little bit of awareness needed there. And then here, just one little medium light medium combo and he's done now let it be known i absolutely hate fighting penny parker in aq i'm not on that side of the map typically i'm on the left side of the map for spider-man 2099 um so i don't get too much action against penny parker i know how to fight her but i hate having to hit into the block to remove the shield um for some reason I have a hard time doing that. I never use Corvus to hit into the block. That has never been my thing. What if I used Corvus in AQ before when it was to use the cheat death method? But anyways, so here, of course, I get some mythic intercepts. But I get rid of the shield in what, I think two hits. And now I'm just trying to build to SP2. I did have an SP1 startup, but because I did a mythic intercept, she power drained me a little bit. So now I just gotta play smart. I'm not even caring about the degen. What I should have done was not cared about doing medium light medium hits. I should have done full five hit combos, and just get to SP2. But I'm not smart like that. But either way, I do get to SP2, then launch it, and it's like five million damage. Um, and uh, she's dead. So anyways, guess what? We lost this war. Our battle group went 50 and 1, just like last war, so we killed it. They died four times in our battle group. Overall, they only died six times, and we died 15, like a Plastic 2 alliance would. Anyways, we have to get better. Simple as that. The 15 deaths, that's like Platinum 3, you know. Um, we need to do better. We need to get back down to 7 deaths or less, ideally 5. But, uh, you know, we're going to improve, hopefully after this war. Our war rating is still high enough to keep us in tier 1. The worst thing that could happen is dropping a tier 2. But anyway, um, they played a great war. Kudos to them. Um, we didn't do too well. But uh, we'll adjust. We'll move on. And uh, we'll get Masters again this season. That's the way it works. So stay tuned for my next video for more Mythic Intercepts. Um, as well as all kinds of mistakes. So anyways, have fun. Um, click like. Subscribe. Enjoy Easter. Peace out.